everybody. We're in Paris. We have a little apartment, a nice three bedroom apartment here in the sixth arrondissement. We're here on a nice family vacation. We're going to eat a lot of great food, see a lot of cool stuff and bring you along with us. We rented a quaint little apartment. It's on the ground floor here. It has this nice courtyard and one of our neighbors is right over that fence there. Uh, the Prime Minister of France. We're going to a restaurant called uh, Gemini. Gemini, pasta, a pizza. Gemini family. It's early enough that there aren't a lot of people here, which is good because that means there will be fewer people to annoy while I'm videoing. Just for absolute clarity, we are in Paris. We are in an Italian restaurant. They are playing American Motown. Mop your head as if you're grooving, Graham. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, Bob. There's no bobbing happening. So, would you like to try Martina? a tiny piece of carb prosciutto, which is like spicy ham, or sorry, salty ham? Right. Just a little piece if you want to try. Graham got a Parma pizza and he must share the picture with his friends because it's amazing. Uh, that was excellent. Everyone's happy. Everyone's full uh, as well. And the night has just begun. Uh, Tiffany, what are we doing tonight? So the kids were feeling quite tired from jet lag, which is fair. Um, but we were interested because it is uh, unseasonably warm right now and going on a Seine River cruise at night. So what we decided to do was leave the kids in the apartment and come scope it out for ourselves and then maybe we'll come back another night. That's right. Just sail along the Seine. We're going to get to see the Eiffel Tower. Uh, I'm not actually sure what else. You know? I don't. We're going to find out. We'll find out. And you'll find out too. We're not the only ones on the river, that's for sure. Allez, on y va. We're going. We are. Look at that. And we are now approaching the Alexander the Third Bridge, which is also one of Paris's most beautiful bridges. And this one was built in the 1900 that celebrates France's friendship with Russia. Oh, 
nous avançons maintenant en direction du pont de l'Alma. Alors je sais, ça fait beaucoup de ponts, mais en même temps, il y en a 37 à Paris. Listen, in my opinion, as a tourist wanting to see Paris, this is one of the best things you can do. Because you get to see things like this, especially at night, with the best person. That's very nice. You're the best person. You know what the view, the view out here is amazing. And uh, it is a cliche, but it is true. Paris, the city of lights, it's, right? It's quite beautiful out here. It's quite beautiful. I mean, you can, you just can't get a view like this anywhere else, mm -hmm. right? There's the Eiffel Tower. Here's us. You can get a view of us in lots of different places. It's true, we go everywhere. Yeah. Um, if I was to give you one piece of advice, though, everybody, especially if you go in early spring, bundle up. It's a little chilly out here, but it's worth it. Yes. You could just hug someone you love. And here are the living and dining rooms of our charming Paris flat, looking out onto a beautiful little courtyard, complete with a TV with Many, many, many French channels. Oh no. Here's our pleasant kitchen, which is just the right size. And it's got lots of modern appliances, including the dishwasher over there and an induction cooktop and oven. And the laundry's here as well, and a nice refrigerator and freezer. Everything we need, and coffee maker too. It did not come with the baguette or the croissant. We went out and got those. That would be asking too much. But this is serving us well during our trip. Cafe Louise. Uh, we're at Cafe Louise. We're going to enjoy a meal here before we head to La Louvre. Mm. It's good. What did you get? This is our rosé spritz. Delightful. You, you have, you have, yeah, you just got some Bordeaux. It's like a tile. Jim has got her first Orangina there, and Bram has a limonade. Enjoy. I should take a picture of her list and she recommended it. That's right. This is the Parmentier du Canard. There's duck under that mashed potato with a salad. The tipping of the prompt is soon. Jim has pasta. Bram has a delicious looking steak behind Jim's Orangina there. Could be all service non stop. Sorry, you're part of the B roll now, Bram. Okay. Because it's the Bram roll. There you go. Sounds for the Bram roll. Yeah. My croc monsieur was delicious. And my rose spritz that I have drank all of. It's gone! Sometimes it happens like that. Yes. Should we come back here? That's a resounding recommendation from Gemma. Laura Todd, fine cookies. Mm. We have to make a stop for cookies. You know what? They have cookies and ice cream. I think today is just a cookie day though. What's your evaluation? This is the spe Cozy Speculoos cookie. Mm -hmm. Delicious. What do you have there, Gemma? Cookie. Chocolate chip? Delicious. Yes. What's that? This is a big choco milky. Whoa. Big choco milky. I have the white delice, which is a chocolat blanc. Well, that hit the spot, and also I have a sugar shock now, which is fine. I'll get over it. Got a lot of walking to do. Hello, everybody. That's La Louvre. I think we should go see that. Sculptures used to be. Yes, they were outdoors. Cars, squares, all over the place. Some of them were just. That's it. It's a protein. 
Which and so work so you say you heard about it you discussed it was in school or uh yes it was that means that back then they use like a cookie cutter right the face of a person that we all well what does it depict what does it show what's happening here they got the papa swarms uh huh has to tell it to his people he goes to his people he calls him he says people listen I had an amazing dream. I've dreamt that our main god, Ningirsu, came to me in my dream and that uh, he uh, told me that we should build a temple in his honor. Aha, uh -huh. yes. Mm. It also tells you about how they how they believe. We're actually on a quest tour with Ed, our tour guide. He's guiding the kids around. He works for a company called Paris Muse. It's been a lot of fun. And that's one of the few pieces that we have in the A sphinx. A little one. It allows for good preservation and a lot, a lot of detail. This is a wooden carving that is 4,000 years old. Look at that. Tutankhamen. Oh, did he find like the Rosetta Stone? He, he used that stone to decipher the hieroglyphs. Nice. It is a strive. You are fantastic. No, that is not on that. It's so slanted. <laughs> She is known, so she's a Greek original, but she's known by her Roman name for some weird reason. She's the goddess of the law of the name. That's what she's called. Not, uh, it's not much older than the other Wing of victory. And so they are, they were told by Zeus that Prince Paris, Prince of the city of Troy, was uh, a great judge. So they go to Troy, they find Prince Paris, and they tell him, uh, hello Paris, we were told that you were a good judge, we need you to tell us apart. Uh, we want to know who amongst us is the most beautiful. Well, that's a hard call. We're walking through the Grand Gallery now. Look at how far that room goes. It goes and goes. But here it's not so obvious because they're so cold. In the background, they don't have halos, so the wind she is putting these emphasis on their human. We've been to La Louvre. Amazing. And there's the bottom of the pyramid. That means we're leaving. Farewell, yes. This is a tequila sunrise. You are, you are a stinky person. Which drink did you get? This is the superior one. Let's I don't know how to like, pull this out properly. I, I know, I think you have to twist it a little bit. You have to dig in underneath to separate it. Loaf mayonnaise. And then, oh, we got some green soup. I mean, bread and escargot. So we got some fries. I finished my tequila sunrise and ordered a glass of burgundy, which I do at every meal, apparently. What is happening over there? I see a burger. I see some fries. Oh, I see more fries. Some fun. A steak. Perfect. And a burger. Dessert. Crepes with Nutella. Tippy already is going for it. As you can see, Ice cream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The stuff from earlier was a lot, and I don't want to underdo it.
That's the street we're on, Rubeno. There is the Hotel des Invalides. And you can see, you can even see the Eiffel Tower. Raining. We have rain, we have sun, we have rain, we have sun. Today's a day I have a little bit of free time, so I thought I'd walk out of our neighborhood to a nearby attraction. The Hotel des Invalides it used to be a hospital uh, because Napoleon apparently liked getting into a lot of wars and he had to put in people who were, well, injured somewhere, so they went there. All right, I've left uh, Les Invalides and I'm just walking around the 7th uh, arrondissement and I have to make a couple stops. I had to stop and buy flowers at that place. Monceau Fleur. For our rental. <clears throat> I think Tippy will like these. Okay, there's a boulangerie over there. Le Boulanger des Invalides? Sure. Let's try it. <laughs> I've already eaten my sandwiches, but now time for dessert. This beautiful eclair. stopped in a charming little stationery shop, Bookbinders, to get a gift for Gemma and a souvenir for myself, a nice pen. Yeah, I think you're right. The frog and princess. The frog and princess, that's like me and you. And I threw up in the track. We're at a place called uh, the Frog and Princess, which is a frog pub franchise. Why are we here? They have American food, including chicken fingers, which somebody wants. It's a coffee shop, but they also serve breakfast. Look at you. These pancakes look amazing. It's a yogurt bowl. Look at that. Gee, fantastic. Yes. This is also the symbol of the French monarchy, the lily flower. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you have over there as well the lily flower with the crown. Hide, idiot. That seems unnecessary. Yeah. 
Oh wow. Huge works were made to come pumps and canals to try to collect the water. How they our feet here below us. Huge reservoir with the with the hundreds of meters of water. Uh -huh. And they so we are right in the middle of the axis, the king's bedroom is just right there, in, in the middle of the, the, the arches, uh -huh. and this axis it continues on this side, yes. you see, yes. and the middle of the, of the, of the, of the south is continuing to be Yes, I probably wear in Versailles. We're actually touring the gardens and we're going to look at the apartments of the king and the queen. We have a great tour guide, Louis, who is helping us. It's an amazing day. Come along. Mm -hmm. right, and just in the middle, we have got the fun. Mm -hmm. And you can see the light. It's mm -hmm. very, very strange. Why? Kind of just got a rush to get the light inside. Uh -huh. The organ that you see over there. By great musicians uh, like Francois Poupard. Uh, beautiful. Always represented in like a Roman emperor, and he's killing his enemies. And this is a certain way in the other chamber of the Hall of Mirrors. We are going to see in a moment. That makes a special blue that mm -hmm. is called blue of cells, very deep blue, mm -hmm. very particular. Um, it's a sort of secret of uh, this manufacture. Just before Louis Philippe, in the middle of the 19th century, he started to We just had our tour of Versailles, amazing. Now we're just waiting outside to drive back, uh, but we had to go on a croissant break. Delicious. So that was our tour of Versailles. Just incredibly opulent. A uh, little bit of a challenge getting in, kind of crowded everywhere, but certainly uh, you can't see anything like this anywhere else and it was a bucket list item for a trip to Paris, so we did it. Amazing. And our tour guide, Louis, fantastique. <clears throat> Brent, what do you think about Versailles? Um, very fancy, so I don't know. The, the line was kind of obnoxious, but besides that, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, How about you, Gemma? Good. Very good. Look at the view over there. We should be taking the picture. We did the reaction video in front of the fancy gold fence. Look at those people smoke. Okay, we can go do that. Yeah, let's go do it. I love it. Uh, so, Tippy, what did you think of Versailles? thought it was crazy. We got to see French bureaucracy in action when we were entering the building. It was uh, good times. Uh, apparently, you have to convince the guard you have the most sort of... Uh, logical reason to enter next it was quite it was quite fascinating to watch uh in practice yeah. uh the palace obviously is amazing we learned a lot about how you know it had been looted post french revolution and they've been you know since about the mid 1800s or so and then especially in the early 1900s working to sort of find original pieces where they can 
and to restore some of the rooms. Uh, they've done, you know, obviously only a small portion, you know, because so much stuff had changed hands, but um, it's still beautiful inside. Uh, quite opulent still, quite impressive. Uh, the Hall of Mirrors in particular is very cool, as is all the art on the ceilings. What do you think, Adam? Uh, amazing. I mean, the interiors and walking through the different rooms of the king and the queen, uh, just so impressive in terms of their opulence. But I have to say, one of the things that I enjoyed the most was the gardens behind this uh, castle here. Being able to see those, see how expansive they were, the uh, pools, the plantings, and then to be able to stand up uh, in one of the upper levels and look down, it just made it that much more uh, amazing, you know, in terms of the incredible symmetry and formality. Uh, really, I think a once in a lifetime experience here, taking a look at Versailles inside and out. It's a military area, so it's very secure. Yes. Today we're on a walking tour of Montmartre, which is known for its uh, artistic history. It's very lively right now. It's a Monday morning. There's so many people around. It's possible that everyone is here to see the Moulin Rouge. That's very famous. There is Linda, our tour guide. Yes, we're doing tours this time to keep from getting lost. Yep, slowly going up the hill. We have just passed the restaurant where Amelie worked in the film Amelie because you have to do that when you're walking in Montmartre. Montmartre used to be just a little village, but now so busy, so active, and part of Paris. Oh, really? Oh. There's so much going on. That guy's painting. We're on our tour. They're constructing. It's just, there's a ton of things happening right now. Mm. But it was not underground. And then they uh, developed uh, what is what is a more similar to the metro nowadays, so mm. underground metro, at the beginning of the last century. Mm. And this stop was open in 1912. So, uh, Quite a long time ago, if you think that we are actually uh, already on the side of Mama, so we are quite far from the center, and you're also quite high. Sorry. That's all right. Already uh, on on the hill. 
So it was really revolutionary to have a mattress set that came from a map. And it made it even easier for people to come up and to enjoy yes, in Mama. So it was part of the what made Mama even more accessible and indeed it was a very popular place mm. at the time. All right, so you can you can see Les Invalides from here. We're staying not too far from there. We're going up. <coughs> We're going up and up and up. And that guy's never getting his shoes back. Where many artists uh, used to gather in an atelier here, including um, Picasso and Gertrude Stein. And now it's a private building. And the only artist nearby is this guy with the pressure washer. They date back to the end of the uh, 19th century. Mm -hmm. At the time, it was uh, a very huge problem in Paris to find drinkable water, to find safe water. So in desperate cases, people would even go and drink the water from the river, which was already very dirty. Mm -hmm. To buy water was very expensive. Mm -hmm. So in many occasions, they people just drank wine because it was cheaper yeah. and much safer. Passing by the former home of Dalida, who is a very famous French singer. Of the women realized that Montmartre was becoming a very alive and kicking neighborhood. Yes. He wanted to do something. He decided, why don't I open up the garden behind my women oh. to invite the people to, the, to spend some time there, to enjoy the atmosphere, to enjoy the garden. I will sell them some wine. <laughs> so it was yeah. really, really good and well working since the beginning. People came here, mm. they were hanging out in the garden. In some occasions, they were organizing parties or dances, like in this um, um, portrait of um, Auguste Vermaer. Mm. And memory, inspired by one of his short stories, he wrote this in 1941. It's called Le Passe Muraille. And uh, the statue here t takes inspiration from the plot. Mm -hmm. Briefly, it goes that the main character of the story, a man called Gutier, he's really normal man with a very normal life, just everything is super regular. Mm -hmm. But one day he wakes up and he finds out that he can pass through walls. These kids are gonna get some wine <laughs> yeah. at this vineyard. <laughs> I'm gonna get super drunk. No, you're not. No, you're not. It's not that much. Yeah, good. You wanna get in, you have to queue a little, as you see, mm. but um, it's just for security checks. Then yeah. you get in. So, one, one way is stairs and then the street in front of us, the other mm. way is the cable car right there. Oh. La Funicula. Mm -hmm. Take it with the same uh, ticket of the metro. Okay. Or of course you have a cab station right here, or you can just stay around a little more. Okay. If you need more specific directions, of course you can ask me. Yeah. All right. Uh, what an amazing tour of Montmartre. Uh, we really enjoyed our tour guide, Linda. Linda, if you're seeing us, you're the best. Uh, we got to see Sacre Coeur and uh, a bunch of the, the places where the artists and writers used to hang out. Uh, we got to see the Moulin Rouge, and we got to see lots and lots of people, tourists like us, uh, enjoying this whole area. It's beautiful. It's a great spring day. You couldn't have asked for a nicer excursion. Uh, and now I think we're going to go find something to eat. Just a couple stairs. By a couple, I mean a couple hundred. It is hardcore. Go, go. You can do it. I believe in you. Look at that. That's right. The rest of us are just like puffing and puffing going down. Videoing while I'm walking down these stairs is probably asking for trouble. I guess I'll have to keep my eye on the stairs. Don't worry, guys. There's 50 more. There's 50 more. Gemma, how you doing? I wish you could do this walk. I don't know. It's good. The steps are good. It's good for the glutes. Good for, good for the quads. Good for the... 
tabs. Bad for the knees though. Pear cider. It's very good. This is the Perigordine, which has foie gras and also duck. Delightful. Tiffy has the Tiffy Chef. Graham has the same as Tiffy, the uh, Reclet du Chef, which, oh my gosh, it's steaming. You can see the bacon and this hot molten cheese under there, and an egg, chocolate and banana, chocolate and banana. Go for it, Gemma. We just had an amazing lunch at uh, Creperie Brasselion. What did you think, Gemma? Good. Gemma says it was good. good. I also think it was very good. It's a sort of a different style of crepe because they're from Brittany, but fantastic. I had one with Jack. Gemma had a chocolate banana one. Uh, Tiffany and Bram both had the same thing with the uh, raclette du chef, which had potato Yay. and ham and cheese. Unbelievable. Uh, I think cheese. if we could, we would go back. And you should too. Organic flour, crepe breton. They have fantastic options. I did drink a, an entire bottle of pear cider. He's I, drunk, don't listen to him. I think it was meant for more than one person. He, he's drunk, it's, look at him. It was him. very refreshing. Very he was refreshing. drinking it out, he was, he was boozing. Let's go. That's illegal. Prohibition is still active. No, it is not. We went to a gift shop. Jim is being a tourist. Mm -hmm. Glass Libanese de Puy, 1936. Mm -hmm. All right. What do you think so far? Good. I'm gonna give you a bite, actually. All right. What's that going, Brian? Oh, we're good going. Yeah. Enjoy. Took me some dude. It's working out. I had the specialty flavor, which is just milk, sugar, and orange blossom, and also rose petal, and also some pistachios. Amazing. We are out for a night of fun. We're going to a place called Bar Hemingway, uh, which means that unfortunately we have to come into the Ritz. Oh well, it's pretty sad. It's a little nice here. It's nice. It's too. It's too nice for me. Oh, yeah. I need the video for me. Which was this one? This one was the yeah. And this one? The Rivkin Martini. All right. And then I have the Hemingway daiquiri, which is supposed to be great for diabetics, apparently. Although I'm not one. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. Well, it's like crooked. I was gonna say, what's the problem? Is it like angle? It's crooked. I haven't looked at it. Should I be taking a picture? Oh well. Drink up, drinky. Yeah. <coughs> I'm so annoying. All right. Um, I'm a fake American now. Yeah. That's right. What drink did I get? The serendipity. The serendipity. The, the classic. Serendipity, which is a classic signature cocktail. And then this one is. The Jules and César. The Jules and César. And you have. The Prosecco cocktail. The Prosecco cocktail, right, which has some limoncello in it. Good luck. I'm sure that won't pack a punch at all. <laughs> so we're at uh, Bar Hemingway. Uh, I've had two cocktails. I'm completely sober. But uh, Tiffany, I think, maybe has had a little too much. Just a, just a, just a little. Anyway, this is a really nice bar. Great ambiance. Very attentive to staff. Excellent company. Uh, we're having a great time. Uh, I would come back here again, but I think after tonight, I won't be able to remember where it is. The bottom, second from the bottom on the left there. <laughs>
It's fantastic. Look at all those amazing drawings. Yeah. So nice. It's fantastic. I love it. Oh, hello. Yes, all good. Amazing, amazing. I love it, I love it. Wait, there is it there. So we just finished up at Bar Hemingway. Had a great time. I had a great time. Did you have a great time? We did. Yes. Uh, it turns out we were seated next to Jim Lee for a little while. He's the president and publisher of DC Comics, and he did a little uh, drawing, actually a couple of drawings on some coasters. That's a tradition there at Bar Hemingway, and uh, I'll insert those into this video now. It was great to see original Jim Lee artwork uh, up close and personal. Uh, we had a good time. I think he had a good time also. Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers. Greg is a big Art Blakey fan. Every day I go to the boulangerie. Every day, the bags get bigger. Jean-Baptiste Carpeau, Ugolin. Believe this? Only at the top of the Musée d'Orsay. Oh, okay. Today. So we are at the, are at the Musée d'Orsay today, mm -hmm. which is the museum I've actually been most excited about. The kids chose to sleep in today, mm -hmm. which is fine. What are we going to see? Uh, a bunch of impressionist paintings. Uh, we already walked through sort of the main level, which is a lot of sculpture. Um, and we'll see what else we find. The building itself is actually very cool as well. Amazing. Uh, it used to be a train station, so the architecture is unique. Mm -hmm. the sand, right? Amazing. This gladiator appears to have won. Saint Michael and the dragon. Yeah. What's happening here? There's a very cool polar bear statue behind me. I love it. Look at him. <laughs> Look at his face. mother. It's so famous. I feel I have to get a picture, although it doesn't really do anything for me. It's a giant model under the floor. My foot has the model. Fantastic. Oh. 
what an extraordinary painting of Paris. It's maybe the model of the Opera House, where we'll be going later. So we finished our walkthrough of the Orsay Museum. We texted the children to see if they were ready for lunch, and no one answered because they're still asleep. Mm. So instead, we came up to the top floor um, and are sitting in the really lovely little uh, museum restaurant to have lunch today. Quiche salmon, quiche de legume, tomatoes. Wonderful. Enjoy. Profiterol was required. Also, espresso. That's the cafe at the top of the Musée d'Orsay. We had a wonderful lunch. We did, it was very good. Last activity of today, a guided tour of the Paris Opera House. It's already a little bit creepy. Palais Garnier tour complete. The Paris Opera House. Uh, unbelievably opulent. Such rich history. Uh, and I hear there are tickets available every day for ballet. Uh, if only we had some free time. We're at dinner at an Italian restaurant called Seb Cafe, not too far from the Palais Garnier. Cosmopolitan. Let's go. Uh, calamari and shrimp fried. Delicious. <coughs> this is the chicken milanese. That looks amazing. I got a pizza called the Verdano. You got the olio e crudo, right? Yeah. Which is uh, ham and parmesan, I think. Yeah. That's looking pretty good, Bram. Oh my god. It's like music. This was Tiffany's choice. Good choice. Thank you. 
Seb Cafe, what did you think? It was pretty good. Uh, the, the music was a nice addition. Yes. It was delicious. It was very Italian. I like it. Yes. Me too. The best pizza I've had here. But I haven't had that many. Yeah. But you have like two or three maybe? Seb Cafe yeah. recommended. visit to Paris would not be complete without the catacombs. <laughs> We're about 20 meters underground right now. On a tour we have an audio guide that's telling us a little bit about the construction of the tunnels and the support systems. And we have a five minute walk through the tunnel. It's completely wheelchair accessible. Yes, that's correct. And there's that also. There's just like a cell. What was that? Yeah, let's go, let's go. There's a black line on the ceiling that's meant to help you find your way out of these maze-like tunnels. At some point, the tunnel gets a little bit snug and low. We're now fencing an area where there was an aqueduct. There's a little bit of water coming from the ceiling right onto our children. The vaulted gallery, which connects two different quarry levels. After the transfer of human remains from the innocent samurai of the catacombs, the process completed in 1787. Bones from other cemeteries in the center of Paris were gradually moved to the quarries. That's excellent, Gemma. I was afraid of your narration. Stop. This is the empire of the dead. Not necessarily recommended for the claustrophobic. The shaft through which the bones were dumped. And now, back to the land of the living. Were they in the American 
And for some reason, everyone else who is French is sitting in a different part of the restaurant. Yeah. Get the That's okay. It's fine. It's because Brian's there. He is. There's, a, I think, only one lady working there in the kitchen doing everything. It's a small place. This is going to be good, though. I have a feeling. Oh, I think we've, we've struck gold here. This is a Chloe Vaughn. Which one is that? Uh, I don't remember the name. Sorzano or something like that. Wait. Jim, Jim has got ice cream and chocolate sauce and bananas. And oh. Brian has a con carno, which I think is egg, ham, potato, and cheese. Yes. yes. Well, let's go. This is a nice local place, and it is um, populated by locals. We are the only tourists here. It's been great, actually. The food was fantastic. Uh, Madame doing all the crepes. Amazing, amazing work. I have to say, that was a relatively fast meal in a nice place, very filling. Only 56 euro for the four of us. This is quite economical. And now we're off to do an important tourist activity when you're in Paris. We must take pictures of the Eiffel Tower. We're closing in on the Eiffel Tower. There's a little bit of work being done here, we think, to prepare for the Olympics. There are some bleachers that they're building, for example. And you can probably tell we made it to the Eiffel Tower. There it is. Or on another ice cream seeking adventure. A Marino? Gelato. Let's go. This is Gemma's. That's beautiful. Look at this. I should have gotten some winter corn. What's that? I know. I just love the chocolate too. I know. It's okay. Get what you like. Look at this, we went to Amarino, where we got this beautiful cone, coffee, a macaron, Graham got a waffle. With, with ice cream. A, with ice cream, cream. and an egregious amount of whipped cream. And Gemma got vanilla ice cream. So we got tea and a macaron, and also another delicious cone there. Yes, this was a, a recommendation from the Le Frenchies videos we watch on YouTube. I sound terrible. You shouldn't put me in the video today. All right. Good job, guys. Should we end this with a... Hello, pigeon. Paris pigeons think they own the place. Look at him. Look at him strutting around. All right, guys, we're right outside of Les Invalides. Uh, which is the uh, former military hospital for all of Napoleon's troops. Uh, I think we're going to end our video of Paris here. Everybody, what was your favorite thing that you did on this trip? I think that above all, I really like, enjoyed our trip to the Louvre. There were a couple other like very fun things. Very good. How about you, Gemma? Same thing he said. Louvre was also good. Bad answer, not original. Why would you How about you, Tippy? <laughs> So I really like the Orsay Museum, the Musée d'Orsay, uh, and Adam and I had a lovely little outing there yesterday by ourselves. Um, I know I shouldn't say this, but I also really enjoyed the drone show at Disneyland Paris, which was quite amazing at the end of the night. Like, it's a cool combination of tech and storytelling and magic that I really liked. Um, I sound terrible because so I have a cold. But uh, Adam, what was your favorite? Oh. Okay, so uh, I think I have I have two favorite things. One, the uh, opera house, in terms of its incredible opulence and uh, just the, the the beauty in every single square centimeter, but also the catacombs, which we did today, uh, just to, to, to go underground and to see uh, all of those bones and you know. Just, uh, just an incredibly moving, profound, kind of creepy. And maybe I'll say a third thing, which is uh, all the food I ate while the we were here. The food was delicious. The food was great. Big fan. The food was great. Good job, Paris. I feel like 
I will say too, so we were here, we got, we've been here just about a week. I feel like we've done basically everything. We've somehow managed to like hit all of the biggest spots, a couple of the like lesser ones that were interesting to us. We did good. Yeah, that's right. We did good the job, Apple guys. Tower. We did Versailles. We heard so many sirens. Uh, we did, um, let's see, Sacre Coeur. Uh, so, so many great highlights. We were great tourists. Uh, thank you, Paris. Thank you a great time. We'll see you again. Bye. I'll be in town. There they go.